Hello and welcome to a Casella Insight how-to video brought to you by the Casella product support team. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to generate a report for data downloaded into Casella Insight. Before we begin, please make sure you have viewed the Casella Insight videos on creating a tree structure and assigning your data available at www.casellasolutions.com. To generate a report within Casella Insight, we need to right-click on the branch of our tree structure where our data is saved and from the drop-down menu that appears, select Generate a Report. Upon doing this, the Casella Report Wizard will open, which allows you to customise the look of your report and choose which data to present. To proceed with the wizard and between the wizard steps, click the Next button. Step 1 of the Report Wizard allows you to choose the order in which the subgroups are displayed above the data presented in the report. This allows for more accurate records should you need to refer to the report in the future. The first step also allows you to choose whether your data is displayed in ascending or descending order and whether to display a break on the change of data. Step 2 of the wizard allows you to choose the dates of the data that you wish to generate a report for. This is particularly useful if you have multiple runs from different days assigned to one part of the branches within the tree structure. Step 3 of the wizard allows us to choose what instrument will be included within this report. Again, this part is useful if you undertake multiple sampling runs with different instruments within the same site, location, process or person. Step 4 of the wizard allows you to choose specific results from within the date range and instruments specified within steps 2 and 3. This allows you to display only the relevant results needed per date and instrument. Step 5 of the Report Wizard allows us to select the results we wish to display per instrument. The right-hand column of the display shows you the results that will be displayed within the finished report. The left-hand column displays all the possible results that can be added to the report. You can use the drop-down menu under Available Fields to configure more options to add to the report, and you can use the Results Window button to reset the right-hand column to mimic the results displayed within the summary table in Casella Insight. Step 6 of the Report Wizard allows you to customise the report for your company. By unchecking Use Default, you can change the page header and add your company logo to the report using the ellipsis button. The page footer can be edited in the same way, and you can choose whether or not to display page numbers within your report. Once you have finished your report, Step 7 gives you the option to print the report or to view a preview before printing. Viewing a print preview will also give you the option to save your report electronically should you wish to do so. For more information on Casella Insight, please go to www.casellasolutions.com.